Metalcore act Bleed the Sky is backed with a new vocalist and a new single, and this time they are back with a vengeance. No longer a metalcore act, they have transcended into a deathcore band. This is a review on their newest single, The Parasite. These are my personal thoughts, and I respect your opinions if you don't agree. Because I don't have the means to upload the music itself, links to the music will be in the description below. As I said at the outset, Bleed the Sky has employed a new vocalist, Monty Bernard, of underground deathcore act Ember Throne, and frankly, they couldn't have chosen anyone better. While Noah Robinson was a staple of Bleed the Sky f since its inception, his unfortunate departure left things up in the air for how Bleed the Sky would evolve. With the departure of Rudy Flores, Robinson's replacement, Monty Bernard was probably the best decision Bleed the Sky has made. They have now evolved into a deathcore band, and Monty's vocals absolutely achieve what the band wants with their new blend of death metal added to the sound. The song starts off with standard slower paced guitar chugs from guitarist Wayne Miller and Kevin Garcia, with bass player David Culbert supporting the chugs, with fast drum kicks by drummer Austin Diamond, and with dual screams from Monty. On the chorus section, the song picks up into the signature Bleed the Sky fashion with fast pacing on all instruments with more melodies and groove from guitarist Kevin Garcia in the mix as well, before dropping back into the deathcore pace, where guest vocalist Mark Hunter of Chimera picks up on vocals alongside Monty and then jumps back into the chorus section again and then ending with chugging and tremolo picking for the last minute of the song. On the surface, it's a textbook deathcore song with some nice blends from the band itself so it sticks out more. One thing I did notice is the absence of blast beats. Drummer Austin Diamond was able to create groovy drum patterns alongside guitar parts without using blast beats, further adding to the signature groove aspect of the band. My only issue with the song was that it didn't keep the groove once it started and the presence of the guest vocalist undercuts the new vocalist. Bleed the Sky is known for some very groovy hooks, and maintains those hooks making each song feel consistent but not samey. On Parasite, once the groove takes off and you get into it, the groove then drops into the breakdowns and chugs. This isn't necessarily bad, but to me, personally for a band who has been known to put a lot of emphasis on groove, to not rely on it just feels different. As I said previously, Monty is an excellent vocalist. But in my personal opinion, having a guest vocalist on a new song that features your new vocalist kind of undercuts showcasing what the new vocalist can do. Not to mention, both Monty and Mark have similar voice patterns with some exceptions. And to, him, and to me, having two vocalists with very similar voice patterns kind of defeats the purpose of having two vocalists. Personally, I think the band should not have a guest vocalist on the first track that features the new vocalist. And while Mark is an exceptional vocalist in his own right, I kind of felt he stole the spotlight away from Monty since it's the first song he is on. But both Mark and Monty played off each other's voices in such a good way, and Mark added such a good dynamic to the song, the song wouldn't feel the same without him. Lyrically, this is interesting. At first glance, I thought the song was about drug addiction, but at a closer glance, I'm inclined to believe the lyrics may be about the world falling to natural disasters and how humans poison the earth. This is evident in the opening verse. The human condition, now down to only pain, searing light into our darkest days, post-traumatic flaws in our souls, the selfish evolve to hate while the fools cry out to be consoled. This line explains how humans constantly abuse the planet and each other on a regular basis. The chorus section follows, We are the spineless hosts of Eden. We are heirs to only its grief. We killed the mother we swore to keep her. Drowning in reality, we cling to this belief. This line here explains the current state of humanity, using Eden as a metaphor for how humanity fell from a state of innocence to a state of death and sin, and it is spot on. Humans are very horrible to each other, and we aren't beneath poisoning the earth along with us almost describing us as parasites. Another big thing I wanted to go into was the evolution of Bleed the Sky sound with this track, their single The Devil Will See You Now, and their record This Way Lies Madness. Bleed the Sky started out as a metalcore band with groove and new metal influences with their sound. 
Their last record, This Way Lies Madness, and the single, The Devil Will See You Now, was their first time dipping their toes into the realm of deathcore while still holding on to their metalcore identity. Now with The Parasite, they have made the full transition to a deathcore band, but still holding on to the signature groove aspect that is integral to the band's identity. Very few metalcore bands manage to step into the realm of deathcore and pull it off well. Believe the Sky has done a fantastic job with their track, and was their first true step into the realm of deathcore. The Parasite is an excellent deathcore track from a band just stepping into the genre, and absolutely killing it with its unbridled intensity and unrelenting heaviness. Monty Bernard is a perfect fit for Bleed the Sky, and I'm eager to see what the band does next. What are your thoughts on The Parasite by Bleed the Sky? Share them down in the comments, let's have a discussion about that. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. That's my first song review. Uh, I plan to do more of these, as I said before. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.